What's up, fanatics? Today, we're gonna learn how to assemble a projection screen. When you take that leap to the next level in your home theater, and I mean going from a television up to a projection screen, that screen is a big deal, right? So you wanna make sure you get it right. And there's all kinds of different sizes, and you can go acoustic transparent, you can go solid, widescreen, 16 by nine, or if you wanna watch like, four, three, and do some of this cool new Snyderverse stuff. There's all kinds of things you can look at, but it all ends up in you putting a screen together and putting it on your wall somehow. So today I just want to go through and show you how easy it is to really just put a screen together and you don't have to be scared of it. I mean, it takes just a couple tools, pretty much just a screwdriver and you're good to go. There's a ton of different screens that you can choose from, uh, you know, price points from a couple of hundred bucks to super crazy thousands. Of course, when you're doing the super crazy thousands, they usually come with services and somebody comes in and they bring like a crew of people and it's this whole crazy thing. But if you just wanna buy one and put it together, you can absolutely do it. So today I'm gonna to show you how to assemble a focus view MP screen. Now this thing's pretty cool. Uh, it's a PVC uh, micro perf screen, comes from, like I said, focus view, which is a company that's huge in China. You don't see them a lot here in the United States, but overseas, man, they are all over the place and they make really, really cool stuff. Now I'll have links to all their stuff down below. So check those guys out. But this video, like I said, is gonna be a really straightforward, just images of how you do this and put it together so you can get a feel of generically how one of these screens go together. You know, I've put these together, I've done Silver Ticket, a bunch of other kind of things, and they're all very, very similar. So if you watch this and think you can do it with this brand, you'll probably be able to do it with any of the brands. So with that, let's go ahead and jump in and get this screen build going. But first, remember, like and subscribe. And if you've installed your own screen, please drop a comment down below and let me know how hard it was or how easy it was and which one you chose and why. I really like to understand, you know, what you guys are out there doing and, and what you like, and it helps inform me on what videos I wanna do in the future. So check that out and uh, let's get this thing rolling. Oh, 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 oh,
And that's all it takes to build and mount a screen in your room. Now, we didn't get into the mounting too deeply, and that's gonna vary from brand to brand. It can be as simple as four bolts into the wall and then just hang it on the hooks. Some have uh, clasps that go down at the bottom to give yourself a lot of uh, firmness on the wall. So it just really depends on the model. But as you can see in this one, it was just two hooks and it hung up there, and it's great. And I think for the most part, that's as challenging as it gets. Now, if you're going into concrete, that kind of stuff, then well, you'll want to look that up and figure out how to do that. But if you're going into a normal wall that's wood, you're going to be easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So thanks so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, we'll see you in the next video.